hello everyone today we'll be teaching you how i make this cut you're seeing here so just like what you can see is an a-shape gown so please if you want to the complete video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much remember this video is for franco brown All right, so today we'll be choosing a new topic, how to cut an A-shape gown, a free gown. So this is my fabric here. I folded it wider than the person measurement. And I'll be using a bias folding. So I'll be folding like this, like this, to the other side. So you can see it now, that my folding is not straight at this edge because of what I want to do. So just stay a while, we'll be back. So now after we finish folding, you can see now we fold it by us, the, the down part is wider than the up of the gown, which is um, the down, which is from the waist is going to be free. So the next thing I do, I took my length, I'll be working with the length of 44, which I took here. So I, I make a mark here to know that this is my length. So now is to apply our measurement. So first thing to do is to take the shoulder measurement, which I'll be starting from this smaller part. Now the shoulder I will be working with is 15. That's 15 divided by 2 will give me 7 and half, which is 7 and half at my tape. So I'm gonna place it here. But here I want to reduce my shoulder a bit because it's sleeveless. So I'm gonna work in with 7 and quarter, which I will mark here. Now, whatever you have in your shoulder, you divide into two. Now from this mark point, I'm gonna take my arm O. For every normal person, the length of my arm O. Is nine inch if you're adding sleeve but if you're not adding sleeve you take it eight inch on this case I'm not adding sleeve so I'm taking my arm or eight inch so I'm just gonna curve I'm using a freehand method so this is it from here to here is my shoulder measurement we stopped here we have the shoulder stopped that is where I got my arm or from now from this part I'm gonna take my neck measurement you can decide to take your neck measurement any wideness you want. Here I'll be working with 3 inches wide, 1 inches down. Now remember we folded into 4, which is I'm cutting the front and the back together. Alright, so now we've got in our neckline, our shoulder. Now I normally slant my shoulder with half inch, so... From this edge now, just use a slant there. Now is to apply the boss measurement from this end down. The boss I'm working with 38. 38 divide into 4 because I'm cutting both back and front. So I'll be using 11 for my measurement because it's a free way. So I don't really want it to be too tight. Now from boss to waist, I normally take 9 inch for gown. So I'm just going to mark my 9 inch here. So this is the place where I'm going to add my waistline my waist measurement i'm going to use 10 for it so i'm going to connect this boss measurement together with this and um, waistline measurement together please remember that this video is from faco brown design subscribe to my channel so now i've connected both lines together and this is an a-shape gown so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to use my ruler to create the a-shape like this then roll it down now the down part is not going to be tight it's going to be free so that it will be easy for the hip part so this is about 12 which is shows that we have a lot of um, freeness here so you can see we took the neck the first thing we did was we took our shoulder measurement which is seven if you are working with um, 15, you divide by 2, which gave us um, 7 and half. Now, in between the 7 and half, I took my neckline 3 inches wide. I slanted my shoulder with half inch. Now, I took my arm hole. If you are taking for sleeve, you take for 9 inch. If you are working with a sleeve, you take for 8 inch. And after the, the arm hole comes the boss, 
the bust measurement you divide by four whatever measurement you're working with and you apply it here yeah we, we use 11 here which is divided by four including our seam allowance then from this bust down to this waist is nine inch which will apply our waist measurement there and then we'll slant it now i want to curve the down of this my gown i'm gonna take from this down part here i'm gonna measure two inch up and then you just use your ruler to rule it a slant shape so it's gonna be like this so you can see the curve shape already so this has to make an a shape cloth thank you very much for staying with us you can drop your comments uh, your questions i'll reply you back with answer when i'm less busy so thank you very much for staying with Fatal brand hello everyone welcome to franca brand class um thanks to those of you who subscribe to my channel i say thank you and today we'll be 